this is why people usually when they make videos yeah they plan shit out they write a little script everything's nice you're like looking you're like listening you're, you're like watching it and you're like wow so organized so coordinated wow this isn't it this is not it this was a i'm in the shower i wanted to talk to myself i wanted to talk about shit so here we are I love this for me. Also, I have a very squeaky stool. It's my drum kit stool. Just like that. Like it. You know how people on TikTok just like pick up their phone. They're like, okay, listen, I gotta, I gotta talk about something. I just like happened today. I was in the shower, hence the wetness of my hair. Um, and I started talking to myself after. I don't want to say how many hours I was on TikTok, but I, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It's bad. Bad. Very bad. A little backstory. Uh, a couple days ago, a couple days ago, a friend of mine came, o came over. This is the third time I've said that. So a couple days ago, a friend of mine came over and um, we were just like hanging out. Uh, we wanted to play a Buzz, this one. It's really fucking cool, man. We had a lot of fun. And um, so we were catching up on each other's lives and i was like you know what i've been thinking about going back to making videos and uh she was really supportive love her so much and so i but i decided to show her some of the videos that i've taken off my channel because oh boy oh boy anyway so there's this one that like just has been haunting my dreams well a lot of them do often but there's this one specifically where i'm reading like my old journal it's very embarrassing it's great today i'm reading my old diary i was reading that diary and my diary was from like 2014 so i was like the new year from 2013 to 2000 so i was like i just turned I just turned 14 basically because my birthday is in November. Put it in your calendar, bitch. And I was being a very... Listen, I'm a dramatic bitch. I'm a dramatic person. I, I can't lie. And you will, you know, eventually see more and you'll realize, oh my goodness. But I'm great, so don't worry. But I was a very, very, very dramatic kid. And I was talking about like how I didn't have any friends. Do I happen to have any friend? that invites me to go out or to go to their house. No, I don't. So what else have I to do? Nothing. Which means I'm going on Facebook. And then there's like these two boys and I'm like, girly, what are you talking about? Anyway, there is this part of the video, yeah? Yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah, so that was this part of the video, yeah? Where I'm like, so mind you, this is 2014. It's 2024. 10 years after. And this fucking shit hit me like a wrecking ball. Shout out to you, Miley Cyrus. Listen, I'm talking about, I write something like this, this is the year. This is the year I'm gonna fight for my dream. This is the year where shit's gonna come true. I was never good at all, but I, I'm gonna try to make my dream come true. In 2016, at least, I'm gonna take some initiative and I'm gonna do something. Do the same because we only have one life, so we should enjoy it. Maybe someday someone will want to write here comments. Hashtag go ahead, and there's uh, all these pages for people to write comments on my journal. Ten years later, here we are. So basically, I had the same dream in 2014 that I have today. You know, after that, I had like a bunch of like my dreams crushed. You can't do that. You're not, you do not have it. You don't have it, girly. You don't have it. Go do something better. And then I was like, okay, I can do film. Yeah, do film. And then I, there we, here we are. I work at a part time, but best it's not what I want to do. It's not my career in it. So. That's why it hit me. It hit me because it's been 10 fucking years. When I made that video, I was what? 16, 
17 i'm gonna say 16 for like my mental health i was 16 when i made that video did i look like that when i was 16 that's crazy wow la 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 um yeah so what what was i saying thing is right listen I've been living in a little more present, sorry, not so back. I've been living here in this house for four years. And I've had so many jobs, guys. Great times, great times. And I found this one that was a bit more stable. Also because, it took. first of all, it took me like two years. Two years to find a stable job. That's crazy. I work only part-time because uh, I have other stuff. I have a life. And also, my therapist agrees with me that my brain does not, cannot handle a full-time job. Unless it's something very creative that I absolutely love. Which I don't know what the fuck that is yet. Well, I do sort of, but not really. Um, that's why I can only manage three days a week. And sometimes it's hard. <sighs> Guys, I've lost. I'm lost, dude. I'm lost. I've talked about... The sun is leaving me. I've changed around so much in this fucking <sighs> adventure here in Lisbon. Point is that I kind of forgot what my dream was. I, I, what well, my dream is so quirky and so a little cringe to say for some reason. It shouldn't be cringe to say that it is your dream because we all have dreams, bitch. Like, I don't know. It's so, it's too hot. I'm too nervous. You're so beautiful. I'm like, I can't even. Hi. Yeah, so I kind of just, I forgot about it. And then, see, I had an ex that uh, made music. And it kind of reminded me of it, that I love doing that. Like, I would always sing in the car, in the shower, and everywhere. <laughs> um, but I never made anything out of it. At the time, you know, they were like, you should do music. You should, you should, you should try this out. You have a nice voice. And I was like, ah, no, you're the one that's good. A little silence here for me. Thank you. Uh, and now the sun's coming fucking back. Like, look. Marcel used to be their producer. And then we kind of just switched. We went and we did a switcheroo. So yeah, Marcelo and I made a... We've, we've made some songs, not a lot, sadly. Because, uh, you know, we have jobs. I guess and a life I don't fucking know and um yeah so I released my first song last year and the reason again the reason that I'm making this video specifically it's exactly for that it's because I watched a video of me reading something that I wrote 10 fucking years ago where I'm like this is the year I'm gonna do something about it and 10 years fucking later like, I've done stuff about it, but I don't think I'm putting that much effort into it. Except this is a very nice conversation I had with myself in the bathroom. Okay, we all have different upbringings. And obviously, that does determine a little bit of who we are and how we act right now. But the thing is, so I've been talking to more people and I've, talking, I've been talking more to my friends and I'm trying to like listen to different stories of how people grew up and it's so interesting i could like be talking to a friend of mine and you know they'll be like you know my dad was really present and i hated that and then i have another friend they'll go dude my dad was so absent but uh that was the best thing about my childhood do you know what i mean it's very interesting to me that it doesn't really matter what your upbringing was because you know i have three siblings and we all grew up so differently you know have so different perspectives of how our childhood was and because we're so different and everyone takes things you know mentally and emotionally so so differently that you know that i just i came to a point where obviously i've been learning this in therapy too but i came to a point where i can't just keep blaming how i grew up or how i felt when i was growing up to determine who I am today and what I do today or what I don't do today, especially. Listening to myself talk about these things right now, it's crazy to me. And I want to try and push myself into being less afraid and kind of working more towards what I actually want because 
still today, 10 fucking years later, even though I know what I want and I want to be an artist and I want to sing to people with people, especially, and I want to like bring people together and like, I want us to feel, dude. I want us to feel and I want us to cry and I want us to jump and I want us to, I don't even know. I don't know, man. Like not everything's going to be planned out ever and things are going to fall apart. And when you can't really control that, because there's so many things you can't control, you just gotta, you can cry about it, you can scream about it, you can like fucking get mad about it, but like you gotta keep going, I guess, and like, that's me trying to keep going, I guess, yes, like, I was just looking at myself, hyping myself up, I'm just gonna have to stop it and do another recording, okay, okay, one, um, <coughs> another one, three is lucky, I guess, but yeah, so I want to stop, ooh, See how the moment I say that you can't plan shit out, my camera fucking dies because it overheated. Lovely. The point of this whole video is to push myself to do more stuff. There's this very odd feeling about knowing what you want to do so badly, you know, that you've wanted to do it for years and you've started doing it, you've done parts of it and you love it, you absolutely love it. And yet I sit on my ass. And that is the craziest feeling, you know? And my therapist has asked me like, is this really what you want to do then? Because I mean, if you're not putting that effort, if you're not waking up crazy about it, is this what you want to do? And obviously she was testing me, sneaky, sneaky little woman. I know it is what I want to do, but most days, and I'm going to be very real about this. <laughs> most days I wake up and I don't want to do anything. There's nothing that makes me want to get up and get going, you know? I never had <laughs> that hustling, like, mentality, like, hustle every day, let's go, let's work. I don't have that. <laughs> like, I don't know where all of you are, like, getting this energy. I do not have that. And I never did. And I... I, I envy you. I respect you because good for you. And like honestly, slay. And I'm very glad that that works for you and that you can do that. I just, I know what I want. And I know that fear plays a big part in all of this. But what the fuck am I afraid of? So yeah, that's the, you know, the very odd feeling of um, that's happening. Uh, I know also frustration plays a big part in it. And like, they're all just very negative emotions that maybe it's just hard for me to deal with. I don't know. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm doing this on my own. In the battle in here, Unagi, I am alone. And, and again, I'm not. I have amazing friends that are so sweet that listen to my shenanigans. You know, okay, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Listen. If we think about it, if I think about it, if we think about it, you, me, you, me, the voices around, if we think about it. You know, I said that 10 years ago, and I, I have done, done stuff for it. Like, I released a song last year, I made a music video, you know, it just started the third year of, like, singing lessons, Slay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing a course this year to learn more about music and production and the world, the industry, and, like, good for me you know like i have done stuff i just i feel like there's more things that i could do on my own at home with my shit without my shit outside i don't know good on me for doing it realizing it so now let's hopefully uh see if this um plays out all good listen if you if you stuck around for the whole thing I appreciate it. I really do. Like, it means a lot that someone wanted to listen to this whole that thing, blah, 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 stuff. Th like, this is my song right here. The um... Wow. Wow. What? That's crazy. Um, I will leave it there because even though, you know, I want better stuff and more stuff and, and different stuff. Um, that one is my baby. I look so pretty. I look so pr look at that jawline right now look at this lighting doing works on my jawline the one yeah crazy cra crazy crazy dude
Ah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go because I don't know what else to say. I gotta go. My mom's calling me. Kidding. I don't live with my mom. Okay. Bye. I bleed myself dry.